today I'm going to be reacting to... Oh, what's the season? It's a season 12, isn't it? Season 12, <laughs> episode 1 of Doctor Who. And I'm going to be doing it live um, for myself, which is very rare for me to actually watch Doctor Who as it, go, as it airs. Um, but it's about to start. Um, season 11 was a bit of a... It was not one of my... Uh, well, it was possibly one of my least favourite seasons of all time. Not just classic. Not just um, New Who, but classic Who as well. Um, had a couple of redeeming features to it, but it really was a bit of a struggle, a bit of a chore. Um, probably the stories that I was okay with. I didn't mind the first and last one. I know lots of people didn't like the last one, but um, I didn't mind the first the sort of opening and closing of the season. Um, I didn't mind Rosa, um, though I didn't think it was nearly as good as some people said it was. Um, and I kind of found the witch finders kind of fun as well. Um, I enjoy them going back in time. Uh, but I got a bit tired of then always being like a baddie that wasn't really a baddie. So for a story like, for example, I can't remember what the name of the story was, but the one that we went back into um, the India-Pakistan borders. Um, I can't remember what the story was called. But that one, for example, it didn't work for me because it lost all of its threat about halfway through when we realised that the, the things that we thought were baddies were not baddies at all. And I think that was something that happened repeatedly through the season. So I'm very interested to see whether Chris Chibnall has kind of taken on board some of the things that people have said about this show. Maybe he's actually watched what people have said and maybe changed things up a bit. We are going to find out in a couple of minutes. So here is my reaction to season 12, episode 1. I believe it's called Spyfall. <laughs> Here we go. The only thing I would say about the last season that I did like was it looked great. So that's what I'm hoping that this will look great still. I just found it in the aisle. Yes. Sorry. I'm so clumsy. That's not suspicious at all, is it? What the hell is it? This is a big scale, this one's on, isn't it? But what are all these things? Spyfall part one, it's a two-parter! I did not know that! I'm already excited that it's a two-parter! <laughs> oh my lord! What the hell is this? Welcome, guys. And I presume there's you. What the hell? Four years since you Oh, you were nice. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I love Bradley Walsh. I do love Bradley Walsh. What's going on with my subtitles? Leave it off. It's not helping. What the heck's going on? What? <laughs> what? Then my sis is trying to kill us. Well, you nearly managed it. All right, see? You want us, we want answers. I don't think I'd be trusting that car anymore. Stephen Fry. None of these attacks has been ordered by rival intelligence. Okay, so they're all intelligence officers. And are they all dead or alive or what? He was found unconscious on the floor of an aeroplane washroom of a flight to Tokyo. Can we rely upon him? It's quite a good setup. Whoa! Shut up! Is that it for him? What the hell is it? If it's getting into the TARDIS, that's pretty strong. Yes, Ryan. How do you feel about undercover work? Definitely. Daniel Barton. 
<laughs> this is exciting! How come they couldn't do this? For the whole of series 10, 11. Oh my god. Far away then. Did he have no picture on there though? You wanna know who I am? You wanna see my house? Go and follow him. It's my birthday tomorrow. That's a big invite. Oh my god. Oh, these two are gonna be goners, surely. Both of them. Figure it out and let us do the job we came for. Doc. No. No, 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 no. I'll take her in the back. They're gonna Stay. die. Oh my god. She's dead. Is that something there? Oh my god. Too late. They're really creepy. No, no, look. This one's still outside. Is that alarm from the TV? It's coming through the wall. I didn't do that. Oh, it was coming through the wall in the TARDIS as well, Graham. <laughs> Sometimes that is all he's there for, running commentary. <laughs> I do love the scope that there's two of them in Australia, two of them in, is it America? In, and they're just so far away from each other. It makes the whole thing feel so much bigger. No, 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 do it, do it. <clears throat> Maybe Yaz will get caught, but not, um, not him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see what else is here. No, no. No, Yaz. No! Stop stopping! Is she in another universe? Is that the point? Because they said they want this universe. So maybe they're from another universe, they're crossing universes throughout. Oh my god. Oh my Christ! Can you imagine how freaked out you'd be by this? She back. Oh, she's there. Is she there? Yes. Oh my god. It's already blown out. Yeah, well, what the heck happened? The beginning of something between them that we didn't know was happening. I made Ice Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Locations for those creatures across planet Earth. Oh, oh my I god. More than just a few. What do you reckon, though? Fancy a trip in the box? Oh, bless him. So excited. <laughs> oh my god! That's so cool. Oh my god, he's on to them. <laughs> Time for a chat. 
He's really handsome, that guy. I'm gonna walk away now. And you're gonna stay away from me for the rest of both our lives. I don't really have to get rid of Mr. Button. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Oh, clever. Go on, guys. Oh, my God. As if they'd all be able to get on this. Come on. I mean, as if Graham would have been able to do that. He hates running. I'll forgive it. What the hell? He knew exactly what he was doing. He was taking them there. How was your house, Elle? Doctor, I, I did say look for the spy master. Or, or should I say spy master? <laughs> oh! Oh, I can be. I very much am. Oh my god! What's going on there? He's not really old. Master. Call your what? We go way, way, way back. <laughs> I met a lot of men. I've had a lot of fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check the seat. Oh my god! Oh my god, here they are. Oh my god. <laughs> What is going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! I can't... I can't... even... explain... <laughs> that last five minutes. I'm actually genuinely quite emotional because it was so good. Like, so good. That was the best of Doctor Who in a long time. Long, long time. Like, and it's made me quite emotional because season 11 upset me so much because it was so not what I wanted. And that just, I was, I could not believe it. I had no idea. There were so many little twists, small twists here and there and there and there. I had no idea of what his identity was going to be. I, I had a slight, slight hint that he was going to be a bad guy because they made this big thing of don't, she said, trust no one. She said, trust no one. And, and he was the one, there was only the two of them that there was to worry about, him and Lenny Henry. And... And Lenny Henry was being suspicious the whole way and he was not being suspicious. So I was like, why are they trusting him? But I did not see that coming. And his performance in that scene was unreal. It was so good. And, and it's one of the things that I've, I've also found a little bit frustrating about season 11 was the acting. And I included the supporting actors in that. I just never felt they really... 
got into it. But looking at that, it just goes to show that if they give him a good part to do, then they can do something good with it. He was absolutely incredible. That scene, I want to go back and watch it again right now. It was that good. The twist was amazing. And he said, what was the line he used at the end? Everything you think you know is a lie. So, I mean, how much of that was a lie? What's a lie? What's, what are those things? Oh my God, that was so good. I enjoyed the episode. I'm, I was uh, sort of about halfway through, I was thinking, yeah, this is definitely a solid, probably an eight. Um, but the ending definitely brought it up to a nine. It might be, I mean, it, I kind of want to see the second half to be sure. But that was definitely a nine out of ten episode for me. And that's the, uh, there has never been a Jodie Whittaker episode that is a nine out of ten before. As far as I'm concerned. That was by a long way better than anything else we saw. I maybe I, I mean I think I possibly gave Rosa an eight last year, but I think I was being generous if I'm being honest. That was a great episode and I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was cleverly done. I thought they did good stuff with the genre stuff. Um, I thought the performances were great. It was funny because I was watching it and I was thinking to myself, "Oh, he would make such a good companion." I'm really enjoying how excited he is by you know <laughs> by the TARDIS and everything. And I was thinking to myself, why are we not, what, you know, why is he not just going to join them? Because he, I, I thought, oh, maybe he'll be killed off. Um, but, I mean, look, there's a couple of little flaws in it. If he just wanted to kill the Doctor, he could have killed the Doctor any time in that episode. I don't know why he needed to be un- undercover. But we've seen that happen with the Master in the past before. Like, the Master goes undercover and enjoys being undercover and having that re- reveal moment. What a fantastic performance from... I've, I've forgotten the name of the guy, but he was brilliant. He's so good-looking as well. Um, but that moment where he changed was just amazing. Uh, I also thought, to be honest, Jodie Whittaker's performance was it was one of her better ones. I think it was towards... You know, you do feel like she's starting to get the role. And I would say it's probably two of the other three as well, um, that they all are. Um... I loved the scope of the story. I just loved the fact that it was all over the world and we got to see that and and they performed, you know, and we got this right from the very beginning, the the intrigue of why is there someone being killed here and someone being killed here and someone being killed here, all from different parts of the world. Um, I think one thing I maybe would have done differently if I were writing it is I think I'd have just kept Yaz gone after she disappeared. Um, I mean, we don't know exactly how it's going to work it, but it just seemed a bit weird that, you know, oh, maybe it was the master that brought her back to Australia. I don't know, but I do think there's, there would have been something to be said for her disappearing and not being seen for the rest of the episode because it would have been like, oh my God, is she, I, I mean, I... There's been a lot of talk about the fact that there's too many companions. I wouldn't have been... I would have been... I could have been taken in that she was out. That she was dead at that point, to be honest. But look, overall it was a very, very good episode. I'm very much looking forward to the next one now. That was really, really good. When is the next one? Is it actually on Sunday? It's just occurred to me because we're not... It's not going to be on a Thursday, is it? Or Wednesday... So maybe it'll be on Sunday. Oh, that's exciting. Brilliant. Oh, I want to go back on... I think, honestly, that's one of my favourite reaction moments to do on film as well, of any TV show I've ever watched. Because I just had no clue it was coming. I've made a point of not watching very much of what's coming up, and it worked really well. Oh, guys, that was brilliant. I will see you all for the next episode very soon. If you like the video, then please do comment, like, and subscribe down below. If you love the video, then please sign up to my Patreon and you'll get to see the full length reaction and see the whole build up to that ridiculous ending. Um, And I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.